today I'm going to take you into the in-depth look of what I am creating, a puppet for the music Seussical. Yes, indeed, that wonderful, wonderful Dr. Seuss musical that is going to be performed here in September. Now, my job as the puppeteer today is to make Max, the dog from the Grinch. He'll only have a small part, but he's still an integral character, as any Dr. Seuss fan will tell you. And here is the skeleton of our puppet of Max. This is the dog puppet right here, completely articulated, all the joints move, and everything. And I haven't put the head on yet, but you can see a little swivel right here. And of course, this is the tail, which moves very, very wonderfully. Now, I'm going to take you on an in-depth look over the course of this video to show you how I made this, and um, show you exactly what to do if you want to try to make one yourself. This particular one I've color coordinated and is made primarily of pieces of Luan and thin plastic that I've compressed together and screwed together so that it would make a nice, light, uh, hinged part. And all the pieces that I have here, I'll be more than happy to show with you through the course of this video. So please, come along and let's have some fun. Instead of a bolt, I've drilled one hole in and through this um, yellow portion of plastic into this lower segment of the leg, and I've installed a wire because when you are creating a puppet, sometimes if you're going to cover it with something, which we're intending to do, it's hard to get in to reach bolts and screws and all that sort of thing. So usually a little bit of wire is sturdy enough that it will make it a lot easier in the long run to create joints. So. This wire has been screwed through the yellow piece, not the wood. As you can see here, there's no section of wood right here. That's just the sheath to allow a full range of motion for this leg to move right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, it'll move on. The hole is right there, and this lower bit of leg is also of a thin plastic, but only one piece of Luan right there, so it'll fit very nicely in and between these create a wonderful, wonderful joint right there. And the opposite is true right here down on the leg um, and the lower foot. This is just the piece of wood right here, the same wiring system to create a nice little joint and a little spacer right in there so that the leg and the foot uh, have enough room so that this fits over the lower leg piece. And now Max is laying on his side because I had to show this to you. So I'm going to back up a little bit, let you see all of his...
Crocodile.